Five days after leaving by truck from the northwest state of Montana, the 16 crates containing the Tyrannosaurus Rex arrived at its new home, the world's most visited natural history museum. Kathy Wankel, the rancher who won fame by discovering the fossil in 1988, was as excited by the event as any tourist. So we were thought we were all kind of done with the hoorah, and now um, this is welling all up and here we go again, and it's just as much fun this time around. Yeah. Visitors will be able to watch as the museum staff unpacks, catalogs, photographs, and digitally scans the bones. Once assembled, the dinosaur will be mounted for the first time standing upright, showing the stature that reflects its name, King of the Tyrant Lizards. The Smithsonian is billing this acquisition as one of the largest and most complete T-Rex fossils in the world, but perhaps not quite as big as the one it allowed to get away. This is Sue, a T-Rex discovered in South Dakota and the star attraction at Chicago's Field Museum. It was bought at auction in 1997 for $8.3 million, a record sum for a dinosaur and a lot more than the Smithsonian could afford to bid. But the nation's T-Rex, as the Smithsonian calls its specimen, was found on public land, so it came free. It will form the centerpiece of a new dinosaur and fossil hall opening in 2019 part of the museum's first major renovation since it was built a century ago. The scientists want people to know that dinosaur study is more than just looking at dusty bones. The world's known number of dinosaurs has more than doubled since 1995, so there's new species being discovered, and they tell us a lot about the nature of the planet, how the climate changes, how evolution happens, how extinction happens. One sign of their relevance, microbes collected from the T-Rex skeleton in Chicago have been loaded on the SpaceX flight awaiting launch to the International Space Station this week. They'll be compared to microorganisms already found on the space station. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.